Yo guys, this is Scuff TV and this week we're not only going skating on a World War II battleship over in the States, we're also catching up with psychedelic rock punksters from the Gold Coast, Roger that. Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan Clements from Spotlight Productions. We're here in Wilmington, North Carolina on the USS North Carolina. So this thing served throughout World War II, did all this destruction and damage around the world, and here we are having a skateboarding contest on it. I don't know the relevance, but hey, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so the way the contest works, it's a team versus team event. We have eight different shops that we invited. The first two shops skate against each other, and the scores are tallied as a whole. The winner of those two teams stays up in the survival bracket. The loser goes down to the sunk bracket. So then once we get all the guys in the sunk bracket eliminated, we take the winner of that back up to the survival bracket, have them skate against the other survivors, and then we have an overall winner with a battleship. the game Halo, dude. It's like a bunch of turrets. It's like, it's like it's, oh my god, dude. Nolly Big, dude, that was nuts. Nolly Big Heel Pyramid. I skate battleships every weekend. It's my favorite spot. <laughs> It's the final showdown, the final battle. We have Skate Park of Tampa, who was sunk in the first round, had fought their way all the way back up, and now they're going against West Side Skate Shop in the final battle. It's gonna be great. Looking forward to seeing this one. These are the guys that made it possible. We got Willie Kane, TJ Sparks, and Brent Sawinski. And yeah. uh, John Stamos. And then John Stamos. Here we are out in front of the ship. The battle's over, the sun is setting. In third place, we had Endless Grind. Skate Park of Tampa in second place. They lost their first battle, but then they made their way all the way back up to the top. 
for the final battle against Westside Skate Shop. Westside took it. They were undefeated the whole day. They walked away with $3,000. Skate Park in Tampa walked away with $2,000. Great event, great time. Red Bull Battleship. Thanks for watching. Coming up next, psychedelic rock funksters. Roger that. <laughs> Where Roger that, I suppose. We should actually have a suit on for this interview. Yeah, yeah. Psychedelic rock and reggae. Yeah, it's come along pretty good. It's, sounds like Roger that. Uh, we're from the Gold Coast. Um, I grew up with these like lock and stuff. We went to school. I've known him since we were 12, which seems like a long time ago now. And I suppose we sort of started Roger that about six or seven years ago. A long time ago yeah. when we came out of school. But we always just fucked around and bloody yeah. yeah. We but never really took it seriously. Yeah, it was a bit of a garage thrash. We had a we had a different drummer back then. He was he was a great drummer too. But we always just like kept it raw on the floor of the pub at Cool and Gator or something like that. And it was never branched out too far but we thought we'd get serious maybe two years ago we got Dan on board we bought a van and we we're just... extremely professional now absolutely <laughs> all about business yeah we've been promising an album for a long time and we've just kind of I don't know we haven't had the, the market there for it quite you know we need to establish it's, it's up it's been like one way or another we haven't got to do a full length no. you know, we've done EPs before it's just like we always wanted to do an album just because you know it's sort of just to prove to ourselves as well as other people that we could do it I suppose yeah so it's coming <laughs> along the album's on its way we don't have a name for it yet it's Jess <laughs> Your turn to have a chat, mate. <laughs> come see the moon bus, can we go? Yeah, yeah come on. This is our this is accommodation it. while we're on the tour. This is our cleaning lady as well. She lives here permanently. Passes. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us a massage and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what about this book? <laughs> <laughs> But that's it, that's the moon bus. It kind of, I don't know, it's usually more exciting than this for some reason, but it's not kind of doing it for me now. <laughs> <laughs>